Hello students, this video is for class 8th and the chapter is chapter 2. The name of chapter is introduction to database. In this chapter, we will discuss the need of why, uh, why to store data, database models and the relational models, file processing systems and components of the relative model. So let's start with the first top topic of the chapter. Before st starting the chapter, you must know what database is. A database is an organized structure generally used to store and access electronical data. In other words, you can say that a database is an organized collection of structured information or data typically stored electronically in a computer system. Now let's discuss the further topics of the chapter. The first topic is what is the need to store data? The need of, uh, for storing the data is that it should be quickly retrie retrieved whenever it is required. We store data for the future use. Some of the common examples of storing the data is our personal music library, the cricket scores of all the matches, the details of libraries, books in the library, the details of patients in the hospitals, the details of students as well as their parents in the school, the details of employees in, the, in an organization and so on. All these informations are very important and is stored for the future use. The next topic is using a database. We can use or store data in the form of textual or in the form of text like writing the details of any person in a piece of paper and keep it safely or it can be graphical like collection of audio, video, pictures and so on. A database can be anything which stores any kind of data or information in it. Either it is textual form or it is in graphical form. The database is stored before the computer in the registers or the big catalogs which contain pages and the user used to write all the details on that pages. These methods are further being improved once computers are used for database storing. Once the computer has been implemented, it becomes very easy to store, retrieve, update and delete the data. There are various softwares implemented for storing the database in effective and efficient manner. In figure 2.3, we can clearly see how the data of, of some students has been stored in a sequential manner. Nowadays, there are various kinds of software for maintaining the database in a proper manner. In figure 2.4, we can clearly see the user can input the admission data, use account data and marks entry of the students in a program, in a software program. Then with the help of these programs, the details of a student admission account and marks entry will be stored in the different databases. Once the database of a student of admission account and marks entry is uh, stored in the database then these database can easily be used with the variety of various other softwares which allows us the facility of data sharing also means if we store a data or multiple data in a database then we have to do the storing process once at a time and after this storing process, these stored data is 
used by multiple softwares multiple users and it can be easily shared to the various places this feature also allows us to relate the database to each other and get the desired information according to our convenience means we can easily relate these database and get the desired information even then also it is stored in the various different databases that's all for this video in the next video i will discuss the remaining topics of class of chapter 2